Alright, this is Firemind and today I am going to show you how you can respawn enemies randomly on predefined spawn points. This tutorial is pretty straightforward so you should have absolutely no problem following along. If you do not want to write any code, I have all the code that you need ready to be copy and pasted on my website which is firemindacademy.net so you can just go over there, copy all the code, and don't write a single line. So let's get right into it. So I'm starting off in my scene here where I have already one enemy defined. And now I want to go ahead and add multiple enemies spawning from random points. To do that, let's right click on the project hierarchy here. Then create a new empty game object and call that enemy manager then you want to right click that again and can create another empty and that one you can go ahead and call spawn point because that's the position where you want your enemy to be spawning from you want to be sure that this spawn point is actually in your map so sometimes it is created somewhere beneath or somewhere off from the map where you don't want it so make sure that's actually on the map then go ahead and duplicate that using CMD D or Control D on a PC and then align them somewhere where you want your enemies to spawn. So basically later on your enemies are going to spawn from these points randomly. Then go on your enemy manager and create a new script, call that enemy manager. Now in your enemy manager what you want to do, create a public transform array which you're going to call spawn points, so that's where your spawn points are going to go into. And then also create a public game object for your enemy prefab, that's where you're going to put your enemy later on. Next, create a spawn function or spawn new enemy function. You can go ahead and delete the update function, you don't need that for this tutorial. And then in the spawn new enemy function, you want to instantiate your enemy prefab. So write instantiate, then the enemy prefab. Then you want to enter the position, which is going to be one of your spawn points. For this one, we're just going to choose the first one. So go zero, then transform position, and then just going to use quaternion identity to get a direction for the enemy prefab to look into. Also make sure, like I make it, made a little mistake here, don't make your game object an array, just make it a game object. Next up, you want to create an event that is emitted once the enemy dies. So you want to create an event emitter on the enemy. So go to wherever you control your enemy from. In my case, that's the enemy controller. You want to write public delegate void enemy killed, which is the name of my function. And the next is public static event, then enemy killed, which is the function name you just defined before, and then on enemy killed, which is going to be the name of the event itself. Now wherever you have your player dying, in my case that's the, the die function, you want to check that on enemy killed is actually defined by saying if on enemy killed is not null. And then if that's the case, just call the on enemy killed function. That way you are going to emit the on enemy killed event. Now go back to your enemy manager. And in here you want to now listen to that event so that you can execute the respawn function once that is executed. So go private void enable, which is a standard function in Unity. Actually, we don't need the private, so just go void enable. Then call your enemy controller and listen to the on enemy killed event. Go plus equals and then the function that you want to call once that event is emitted. In my case, that's spawn new enemy. You don't need the parentheses in this case. Next up, you want to go ahead and actually assign the spawn points to your array. So give that a size of whatever many spawn points you made. Drag them in. And then also drag in your enemy prefab on the enemy prefab slot. And then you can go ahead and play your game. And you're going to see once you kill the enemy, there is a new enemy spawning 
and that just goes on forever. And yeah, that's it. That's how you create a enemy respawn. Now, you also want to uh, make a random respawn, so they respawn in random places, not just the first one. So just go int random number equals, and now here we're going to do a cast uh, to from float to int. And then here we're going to define a random range, which is going to be between 0 and the length of our array, minus 1, because it's counting 0 with it. So the random number is now always going to be a random number between the length of the array and 0. And with that, your enemies are now respawning on different spots, or random spots. And yeah, that's it for this tutorial. That's how you respawn enemies on random spawn points. If you like this tutorial, please leave me a like. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comments down below. If you want to see more videos, please subscribe. And if you have other requests for tutorials... Can't find the tutorial you are looking for? Well, just ask for it then. Just go to tutorial-request.com and check out if other people are searching for the same tutorial as you do. If you find a matching request, make sure to leave it a like, so other creators always know what's in demand. And if you can't find a request that you are looking for, just create a new one. Simply click on New Request, then choose a title, topic and description for your request and simply click on Make Request and you're done. It's that easy. And with your request, you help creators know what's in demand. So go over to tutorial-request.com and sign up today. It's free.